Good evening, good evening. Oh, how are we this evening? <clears throat> how are we? Hello, Dagoo, Ralph, Gerald, Owls, Michael. Hello, Eeyore, Vernon, Cavness. Good to see you. Hello, Arnold. Hello, Patty Ann and Kayla. Hello, Firecracker, Jay and Amy. Looking at some of you guys' eclipses comments. I felt like I got a buddy of mine did a uh, short one on it. Um, we go back quite some years. I thought it was really good. I'm going to share it with you guys for anybody that wants to. Let me make sure I get this one right. A buddy of mine, Monty, did on a warning post-eclipse. Um, gets into where he wasn't expecting anything huge but it is a warning um does a great like biblical breakdown i thought on it it was the warning to repent before the action thought it was very interesting yeah pilgrim bowl none of my buddies were interested in the eclipse hello big dong guy in alberta mark safe lone ranger glad we survived I do have some like interesting pieces on that. The number of folks that work in different government agencies, quite a few of them have requested that they work remotely telework uh, tomorrow. Maybe they're worried. I mean, many of them went to work today, but for some reason, uh, they want them to telework tomorrow, which I thought was just odd. Why not the day of? That's when most people are traveling. I know the roads potentially could be busy tomorrow with people headed home. Maybe they went somewhere, stayed the night to watch it. Yeah, busted. I was stuck inside making my dollar. Uh, Susan, thank you, thank you, thank you on that one. Let's see. My mom-in-law, my wife and I watched it all from Memphis. You guys have sent me some really stunning pictures of it. Just been fantastic. Just another normal day in Hilton Head for Miss Abbott. Or perhaps Mizra's. Mitz, we'll get into the news. There's some really interesting poll highlights. That's uh that's the sun doing its thing. It's mostly silver now. <laughs> Hello, Jim and Bean Town. It went totally dark here in Rochester, New York for about a minute or so. Hey, <laughs> Chris. Good evening for anyone that missed the eclipse. You can see the same effect by simply going outside tonight, right? Uh, hello, rely. Hello, Charlie Watson. Jack, let's see. I believe the eclipse was a sign of the end of the world as we know it, and God is ushering his world. I think it was our warning. There's still a lot of messianic prophecy that has yet come to pass, but we certainly, I mean, I. You would not be hard-pressed to argue that we are nearing the end of days. Well, not the end of days. The beginning of a new era or new days. With every end, there is a new beginning. With every beginning, there is an end. And it is ripping past. Uh, Gary, I was already a redneck. It's all good. It's tanned and ready. And I'm proud of my blue-collar redneck. Wear it as a symbol of pride. Wait, now the mama's protesters are chanting death to America. I don't even know who we're talking about there, but if anyone didn't notice what else was happening today was Joe Biden's impeachment hearing, a little bit of distraction. I know there's supposed to be somebody big testifying on the 10th, which is Wednesday. Don't know what to expect from it. DC didn't get swallowed up. So for me, a nothing burger. <laughs> Happy Hound. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Sarah. Hello, uh, buddy. It's good to see you in the house. I looked straight at it and saw God holding Denars. <laughs> Hello, Zafad. Hello, Gwen and Sharon and Carnivore Doc. Uh, uh, one more time. Eclipse. <laughs> Need a video of me? I'll see if I can pull that one up. Give me just a minute, guys. I'll do a little. Actually, let me do this 
first before I forget. Have you heard of the cert food diet? Probably not because it's something that was only popular among celebrities until uh, until now. In fact, it's actually not a restrictive diet at all. It's all about specific foods you should be adding to your diet. You may know some big names who have actually followed this diet, like a world famous singer who, which we can't mention, but she reportedly lost 100 pounds using this exact same method in 2019. Or maybe you've heard of a certain mixed martial artist, Connor McGregor, who claims to have used this diet, as well as world championship boxer David Hay, Hay, who credits his amazing shape to this guy. Is that Connor McGregor? That's supposedly what he was using for his recent role in Roadhouse. And I don't know if you've seen how buff. He was looking, but it was impressive. Now, the two international, let's see. Now, the two international best selling authors who created the cert food diet, Glenn Matten and Aiden Coggins, have a new, even more incredible way to get these potent cert foods all to all Americans by combining them into one revolutionary, powerful drink so you can get all the benefits of the diet by drinking just this. By combining them all into a revolutionary, powerful drink, good stuff. It's called Ultimate Cert. Juice is designed to help you lose weight, support your overall health, and give you more energy to do the things you love. <clears throat> I am really looking forward to trying it myself. So if you're a loyal listener, I'm giving you all a 20% discount, or they are, on this amazing product. Try yourself. And hey, it's way cheaper than buying all the juice cleanse and all the other stuff, all the ingredients. Do it yourself. You can get more. Find it. Get it. Find out more at getcert.com forward slash Mark Z. Get cert, S-I-R-T. Uh, dot com slash mark z or just click the link in the description way easier and get your supply it is easier to click the button let's see <laughs> middle of the way I, I, I lost weight just listening to you bang out that commercial dang i'm take whoo they seem longer now i am really looking forward to that one oh ray did you during the eclipse have crickets and toads sounding off Reading a few of these things. Let's see. Chuck, go. Hey, Mark, we had bright blue, clear skies all morning. A few hours for the event. Planes were flying over and leaving. Camp. Chuck, I had another one chime in from, um, oh, where was I? I had a couple people chiming in on the crazy number of uh, plane farts yesterday and today. Jack, no, the gold back zig does not mean gold's been released everywhere, but it's a great sign of impending. Let's see. Happy Eclipse Day. My son got a pick with an airplane in the middle with nine skydivers in Arkansas. Oh, they're very cool. Toads. My ex showed up for the eclipse. <laughs> you guys are brutal. Uh... You guys are brutal. Fishing today. Haven't heard any changes in expected values. Hello, Golden Fingers. The Holy Roller Z. I kind of like that one, Golden Finger. Now, guys, I am not perfect when it comes to my walk. I try very hard. Occasionally, the foul language slips out. Lost 40 pounds using Dr. Gundry intermittent fasting. I feel great. Have you noticed the war on intermittent fasting, guys? The great war um, on keto, intermittent. I mean, it's been proven over and over, great health stuff. But then you look at mainstream and they're doing their best to say, oh, my God, you're going to die of heart disease if you do any of these things, even though the evidence does not seem to support uh, based on the many, many scientific studies and peer reviewed and stuff I've read and doctors I've listened to. But they have suddenly declared a war. It's almost like anything, like they declared a war on sunshine during COVID. Don't get it more. No, 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 no ivermectin. No vitamin D. No bad, bad. And then we find out, of course, it works. I, I'm beginning to think they're doing the same thing with keto, intermittent fasting, etc. They want us all to be soy eating robots. Somebody heard a rooster crow, crow listen to it. Yeah, listen to your body. That's the science you need. What makes it better? Soul activating experience that eclipse was. I was in the past still buzzing with the energy. How many of you guys felt like that? <laughs> Reading some of you guys' comments. 
Uh, Patriot Hero, no. I, I think it would make more sense to go during it. Patriot Hero said, so as far as timing, wouldn't it make sense that with Zim going gold back saying they have 21 days turning in? Wouldn't it make sense we wouldn't RV till after that time? No, I don't think we have a limit like that. Um, would still put us well within this month, possibly. Wonder what pilots use if they're flying at the time of the sea clips. BFR might get a little weird. Yeah, view tube. No bugs on keto or fasting, so they're canceling them. <laughs> They've declared a war on the U.S. is looking to put some very, very fierce uh, water restrictions on smaller meat processing plants, which would probably bury the overwhelming majority of them, leaving us with about six top meat processors in the entire country to handle all of the, the butchering processing, et cetera. Uh, similar to the, some of the restrictions that had the Dutch the Span farmers uh, around the EU rising up and putting uh, manure everywhere. And here we are, the EPA, it's, it seems here the farmers are more pacifist and perfectly willing just to roll and it crazy. Eh, one of those we should talk about sometime. Yeah, middle of where, no, if you aren't so incredibly pumped from the zig, I can't spoon. Yeah, I can't make it any easier between the zig, what you're getting out of Iraq, what we're hearing from the bond folks. It, yeah, short of the day we get it, we can't get much more exciting. Now, Take Back America, I really, really want to try to work to the point where I can do that, too. I do regular 7- to 10-day water fasts. They're amazing. Kukla, how'd your last one go? I know you've done it. Hello, Jim BCB. Just woke up from the eclipse nap. <laughs> All right, let's see. Had a friend flying today during the eclipse. They were told to keep the shades closed and to not open them to look outside for the entire flight. Seventy-two hour water fast is perfect. I mean, you can almost shatter your insulin resistance with just a three-day fast. I was reading. Now I've not done it, so you know, consult with a doctor for you do any of those. Goose girl, we grow our own in our hobby farm. The only way to know what you're really eating. Amen. It is. You are absolutely correct. Let's see, Mark, I'm getting a kitten six weeks from now. My friend's cat had four cute kittens. I'm nervous. Going to be an inside cat. No coyote going to get this one. Oh, Victoria, I'm excited for you. You're going to love it. Uh, Tim Ward, Mark, could you do a prayer for my sister who left this world today? She was 77. One, so sorry for your loss, Tim. But just remember, she has seen, at this point, she has already seen the full glory of God. Um. Praying for you and the family. Uh, for her, I just I, I hope she looks down, smiles, and gives us that comfort of what it's like to be with our Lord and Maker. Mark, if you have hypoglycemia, how do you fast? Doesn't affect. I am hypoglycemic, so it. I'm certain I will have to work into it for the like this. I've started doing intermittent to work up to it to kind of train my body. Let's see, Mark, it was hard, but once you put your mind to it, you can do it. I, yeah, I got this one. I have a tremendous willpower. Except for when I need a friend. And Andy abandoned me. Uh, checking in from Shenandoah Mountains with the hubby. We're sitting on top of the mountain waiting on the sunset. He's listening for the first time. PW and that's amazing. Please. Give him our best. All right, let's get to it. Not a whole lot of stuff out there, but we do have some very interesting things today. That is for certain. Holy smokes. Longest fast was 23 and a half days. It was tough. However, I think a regular three to four day fast would be very beneficial. Hardest day to get through is the first day. I figured once I get that far, I'm going to do another day or two. All right, I can buy that. All right, let's get to it. Let's hit some news. 
mostly the news today, we're going to hit in articles. Plenty of chatter, but nothing substantial in all of that chatter or different from what we were hearing today. Still very similar, still more developing on the bonds, looking mostly between the 15th and the 22nd for some reason. Uh, seems to be a underlying theme on all of the conversations I'm having on historic bonds uh, in the last few days. So I'm finding that very encouraging. S&P Global downgrades five U.S. banks. Warns lenders hold billions of dollars in loans that may face material deterioration, especially in the commercial real estate industry, guys. Standard & Poor just out, downgraded five more regional banks as the pain in the sector continues to spread. <clears throat> what else has spread? The safety mechanism to bail those banks temporarily overnight, et cetera, for liquidity. We know that expired just the end of last month, just a couple of weeks ago, week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, we know that they continue to downgrade and they downgrade them from, I'm trying to remember the exact terms. Let's go back to it and look, because I think that is, I think phrasing here is important. Ah, uh, all five banks were downgraded to negative from stable. So they were considered stable, but because of deteriorating commercial property values and the negative hits, they are now negative. In other words, no go. You do not have permission to buzz the tower, Maverick. Keep going on this one because this is very important. I think this one's important too. Countdown to ending era of commercial banks holding Kenyan taxpayers' money. This is going on in many countries, especially on, on the African continent. They are taking back their money out of commercial banks, holding them in their own central banks. Guys, this one's huge. It gets away. It, it helps them protect themselves from corrupt leaders, uh, different semi-government agencies, etc., putting it all into one account. They're calling it a treasury. What is it? They have an exact word for it. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, treasury single account. So it makes accounting easier. This is all part of that prep that's going to be necessary for that conversion. I find this fascinating. I uh, very much uh, find what's going on in the world. Just it's all coming together at one time. It's all meshing, introducing. We all know Zimbabwe introduced the Zim Gold today, the new currency backed by gold, precious minerals, and a basket of currencies with their trading partners. These are all important because these are all Asset wealthy countries. This article is one of the best dives and explanations that I've seen in a while with what's going on, what they're backing with, how they're backing it. So I included here are some pictures of their new bills. Can't really tell it in this picture, but there are some pretty cool um, security features in the bills. Definitely worth a uh, check out for you guys. Let me. Uh, I'm going to take this banner off just so it's not getting in the way of what you guys are seeing. All right, keep going with this one. Countries are beginning to reintroduce gold into their monetary systems by util directly utilizing it as a medium of exchange. Leaders worldwide are now desperately trying to stabilize their exchange rates with the most time-tested store of value. That is the signal. Guys, how many more countries consolidating accounts Moving into gold, shots over the bow, gold back currency. Central banks talking about the need to go ahead and prepare and develop our own Federal Reserve doing the study and preparing for a gold backed standard. I can't make it any clearer, guys. We are on the cusp. On the cusp. <laughs> All right. Gold Telegraph uh, just really knocking them out of the park yesterday and today, well, in general of late, as the value of a currency races towards zero, the country loses respect from its global counterparts. At the same time, when a nation experiences inflation imported to its shores and observes other countries having their reserves frozen by the same country, change happens. We're referring to the abuse of monetary uh, sanctions of the U.S. against Russia here. Uh, watch it, guys. The world is reacting. They're going to gold. We forced this faster. Maybe that was the goal all along. Chinese state bank asked court to liquidate developer Shamoa. Shem Shem yeah, Shamoa. 
Shamoy. All right. Anybody out there uh, that has a bit of Chinese uh, background, pronounce that one for me. Oh, wait. I won't be able to hear you. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, China Construction Bank filed the case against them, winding up, uh, winding up hearing is scheduled for June, according to the court. This is yet another one of their large developers. I believe this one is their number three developer. So we've seen, uh, at this point, I think we've seen three of their five go into liquidation of their top five. That is just huge. Uh, another note for you guys, Social Security payments scheduled from April 10th, 3.2% increase, third consecutive year cost of living hikes due to the elevated inflation rates that we don't have, right? Inflation's all in your head. Oh, wait, it's not all in your head. It's real, and we know it's real. And then a fantastic one to wrap. Hold on. What happens when this week passes by and nothing happens to the RV front? Well, the next thing that we all jump in the RV will happen ask, well, M92, I don't know what in the heck you're talking about this week. I don't expect it this week, but I'm guessing you've been listening to somebody that does. It's a process. We don't know the timing, M92. I wish I could tell you we knew exactly when it was happening. We can't. We can tell you what the trends are. We can tell you how inevitable it is. But definitely don't understand your question. Elon Musk is all that stands in the way of totalitarianism. This one's a really good one, guys. It's going to be a long one. I'm not going to take the time because I'm looking forward to getting to dinner. Uh, making myself a steak and potato, and I'm excited about it. Last night around 8 p.m. local time in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is where I will be next Monday. Last night around 8 p.m. local time in Sao Paulo, Federal Supreme Court Justice Alexandre de Moraes announced a criminal investigation of Elon Musk. I have covered this, uh, covered it this morning as well. This is a great breakdown of everything that is going on, the timing, uh, the similarities between what their bureaucracy and entrenched legal lawfare did to Bolsonaro and what happened here in the U.S. with Trump. It is a worldwide effort of authoritarian control, and here it is fighting back and i'm loving it charlotte if you want to find us in telegram the easiest thing to do is to go to our website uh, the original markz.com look for the little telegram button click it and it will take you to direct links for our rooms so that you do not get one of the fake rooms because there are a bunch of them out there with some real shysters in them all right guys no no more chatter on fines and penalties i wish i had something i have been looking very hard for something to give me a better idea of where we're at, especially after the hubbub last week of the possibility of seeing some end of last week going into the weekend. So I'm looking, looking, but not hearing anything, guys. Tim, hey, that's what I ate. See, you inspired me, Tim. You inspired me. That's all right. I'm just right, uh, reading a few of these. My post clips outdoors nap was phenomenal. <laughs> uh, Natasha had a birthday. I missed it. Natasha, happy birthday. All right, guys. Let's get to it. Meaning, let's call it a wrap. Oh, let's see. Let's go pen so close to making a playoff spot. Five games left. Getting tight. I test tosser a meal. Yes, it. All right, guys, I'm calling it a wrap here. Hopefully, we will have some news that gives a better idea of timing. Let's see. I think he's asking because we kept hearing from all the gurus it was going to be either this last weekend or this morning. I don't. You guys should think about some of the people you listen to. Nobody knows the timing. We know it's inevitable. We know from history. Uh, that it will occur, that we reset. Fiat always fails. Voltaire famous. Um, fiat always returns to its intrinsic value of zero. You got central banks around the world preparing for it. You got nations, banks, wealthy individuals stockpiling the metals, preparing for it. Uh, you got a commodity super, super cycle starting to uh, take off. I mean, you got all the signs. Question is, is when? What is the spark that sends it all into the dominoes falling on this one? That's the question, because it could go at any moment. It's clearly prepared. We have banks preparing. We have central banks preparing. Uh, we have sovereigns preparing. You got it all. 
Now you just got to survive until it happens. All right, guys. Yeah, sooner would be much better than later. See you folks in the morning. Bye, guys. Wait, did I cover everything? Did you hear the part about the, because I covered it early. We have a lot of federal agencies requesting their employees telework tomorrow for some reason. Weird. Weird. Now I'm out of here.